A lot of people ask how we get our ropes in the trees. So I thought I'd show you one way. We have this fir tree here that's got a couple dead limbs way up in it that we need to get. And we don't want to spur the tree because we're not cutting it down. So we'll go up the rope. And the way we do it is with this. This is an air cannon. You could buy one of these at Tree Stuff. Or I suppose you could assemble it by buying parts from the hardware store and putting it together. It's got a stem here for like pumping up a tire. And you get yourself a pump that'll go up to 180 or 160 or 200 pounds or something like that. And you fill up this chamber with air. Then you put the throw ball in this side. And then you point it and you swing that valve. It's kind of a rough trigger pull if you're a marksman, but it's doable with practice. Oh, it's, okay, cool. I saw it. I didn't know it was for me, but cool. Well, I told him you, you didn't deserve one, but... <laughs> <laughs> so Damien's climbing it, so, so he'll... He'll get the first miss. <laughs> what happens with the air cannon often is... You're firing up in there and you hit a limb and the... Yeah. And then the bean the bean bag bounces out. Oh, look at this hero moment for Finn's shirt. Ironically though, if you had one of these spider lifts, you wouldn't need that air cannon. Yeah. What's wrong with this picture? It makes us look a lot cooler. Sun is like perfectly in my eyes. Bird's nest. Okay. Round two. Far. That's pretty far out the limb. Three pounds of air pressure. Looking good. Oh, yeah. oh perfect. Perfect. Exactly where I was going too. Dialed. I'm like, take my time with the shot, but try not to yard on it when I. Yeah. It's hard to have a smooth trigger pull on a giant trigger. Parts, yeah. That what has to move like four like inches. The other side. Is it all the way over there? It's good. Just get it to come down. You'll be happy. So we're using the little throw line to pull the climb line in. This is the climb line. YouTube probably can't see, but there's the throw ball on its way back down now. Pulling the throw line still up and over those limbs. This might be enough. Mm -hmm. So this is a knee ascender. So he has an ascender for capturing progress on the rope as he moves his knee up. I can, uh, I can get set and then better show it too in slow motion a little we'll bit. We'll show it. I just gotta get my, uh, I gotta get off the ground. Watch out just in case I slide in. And then he has okay. a foot, then he has a foot ascender here. Ghetto one. Don't mind the ghetto-ness. So you hook the foot ascender low. Now he's gonna, now, um. So when I left, my right leg, it brings this one up, and then I lift, lift my left leg and capture my right, left, Got enough rope weight yet? So that's called rope walking, YouTube. It only took less than a minute. So it's pretty handy dandy. 
and we're not poking holes in the tree with our spurs or anything because that's frowned upon by some. I personally don't think it would hurt the tree, but we do industry standard work. We, we kind of follow the collective uh, standards of the entities that make decisions about those types of things. I'm not a dogmatic uh, activist of any kind. I wouldn't criticize a guy for spurring that tree to cut those dead limbs off, but we won't do it just because somebody won't like it. And heck, it's pretty easy to go up the rope too. So, you know. Morning, YouTube. So me, August and Jeff, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this fun little uh, uprooted madrone slash falling puzzle. Uh, meanwhile, Adam and <clears throat> Wyatt got sent to go prune this very small dogwood tree where there shouldn't really be any issues. And uh, they just called saying the lady needs to talk to somebody that, um, I don't know, maybe she thinks is more official or something. I'm not really sure because it's something that they can go do and they are every bit of capable of doing. So we're gonna go take a look at this tree and try and figure out how it ended up becoming the, the real puzzle of the day. Yeah, sometimes people, sometimes people need, they need a confident person doing their, you know, her tree, she like probably loves the thing. And, um, and they, sometimes people have mixed, like, they don't have knowledge of what needs to be done, but they have an idea that they think, and then if they don't see it happening that way, and they start questioning you, and then if the guy that's doing it isn't 100% sure of his prowess, then that like leaks out. Anyway, I don't know what's going on, but I guarantee I, I got the recipe for every tree. Huh? Probably every tree. I'd say every so. Every dogwood. <laughs> I'd say so. You could come up with something real quick, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. We might not be able to film it. We might just have to talk to you about it later because, you know, we don't want to like, like go, uh, go creeper cam on a little old lady. That just really wants a nice haircut. Um, on the plus side though, we are like, four, let's call it six blocks from the other job. So going over there really isn't too much of a hassle. So a little dogwood, a brand new F550, a brand new Vermeer chipper, and five guys. That ought to, that ought to do it. <laughs> that should do it. Steven Stark. Maybe we all show up and act pretty um, unconfident of what we should do with the tree. <laughs> no, that's a crate myrtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna get to the root of it, the problem, and make this lady all cuddly and warm somehow. She's gonna be happy, and she can uh, start marinating the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A couple weeks ahead of time. Am I there yet? Uh, yeah, Cook. take this left. Okay. So we started the video at the beginning of leaving the other job and we are just showing up to the other job. I wonder if I'll recognize this place. So it's that little dog wood right there. That? This one. That's 
funny because right when we started pulling up, I kind of started thinking that. <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, we're good. We're good. All right, YouTube. Checking back in, driving through the school zone. Um, so we went to the job. Wyatt and Adam were standing around looking at us like, please help. The lady came out and you could tell she was a little disgruntled. Um, but there was a bit of maybe not the usual case where there was some root girdling um, in the bottom section of the trunk so it was causing some other bigger dead limbs to start dying off um, but that's kind of something uh, that not just everybody would know so I think maybe the guys were a little op to tell her um, that they kind of didn't know the routine yeah they didn't know what had to be done for that particular tree which made them not be confident which made her detect it and she was right she her sensors were on <laughs> she's on <laughs> who are these yeah, scrubs I, <laughs> I just think that they're like <laughs> yeah not experienced or something mm. and you know these guys <laughs> they're awesome guys yeah. and they you know I'm sure granted you gave them enough time and nobody was you know pressuring oh, they them they were there for the whole thing with the whole the whole intervention they they definitely learned something today yeah you know I'm <laughs> I'm sure with enough time and not a lot of pressure on that job they would have went through they would have gone through and, and cut the dead wood out you know they would have recognized that one side needed to match the other and um you know i think they probably would end up making it happen but maybe the whole reason behind why there was so much dead they weren't able to explain to the homeowner which made her a little i think it might uneasy. have ended up like a super botchy lion tail hack job that's what i think what do you think adam? what do you think adam ah uh, i was over it after the first two cuts <laughs> i was like dude i'm not gonna yeah, i backed you up your cuts well, were good well the thing was is so when we first showed up she was like how long have you worked have you ever pruned a dogwood before you know like totally like doubting us when we first first and i i verbalized that to her you know i was like you were you know you doubted because she was like she said something and i was like you doubted us when we first walked up to the door. I was like, you asked me if I've ever pruned a dogwood or, if, you know, if I've ever pruned a tree before. So I was like, it has nothing to do with my cuts. I was like, you were judging us when we first got here. Hmm. And so I was like, that's she why I only made two cuts and put this pull saw down and let Wyatt deal with it. And then Wyatt, you know, he was cutting the suckers off, which is like the same ones that you were cutting off. Mm -hmm. And she was like, don't cut that one off. It's going straight up. And then, you know, he was like, well, what? what ones do you want us to cut then you know what 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 do you want us to do here and she kind of was like uh you know and i was like well we'll get damien in august here then and so you know what you know what healed it what's that this pizza uh explaining to her what was wrong with that particular tree okay put the put her totally at ease yeah because she had... With, with the root girdling. Yeah, girdling the root was the... girdled. One side was going to keep dying back. It was going to be a bad scene. It. So we, so it would have looked bad if you didn't tell her because if you cut back the side that's it that's dying and you can't help that it's going to die the rest of the way later, well, then later they look at your cut on the limb that and died it's... and they think that because you cut it wrong, it died, when right. really it's a problem from the root zone up. From the get-go, right. Yeah. Anyway... Telling them, being able to Explain articulate that. exactly what's wrong with it and what it needs, then they're just... Comforts then, them or gives them confidence. Well, her. Them. Some people are nuts. Yeah. But she was... She wasn't. Yeah. But she was definitely... I, I felt like from when we got outside of the truck and walked towards the... I mean, it was like... the Being judged, you know? Yeah. I mean... So what do you Maybe think? it was in my head. I don't know. But, you know, when they ask you questions, have you ever pruned a dogwood before? And, like, that's, like, the first things that come out of their mouth. I mean, it, it's kind of like, okay, you have no faith in me. Yeah. But did she have any 
credit credence for that? I don't think so. I mean, no. yeah, I mean, it was literally, um, I mean, yeah, we were walked up to the door with, with pretty much the gear ready to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were going to knock on the door and she came out and, um, so the truth is you would not have harmed the tree. <laughs> You would have done what we usually do. I feel... So, but I, you probably wouldn't have done it... As verbally. To the, to the detail that no. we ended up with. Or she wouldn't have gotten the tree science part of it in her head. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. I think that's definitely what eased her mind. It was just the... Knowing why and where... The problem. We were doing the pruning and understanding why there was so much of that live kind of somewhat gangly stuff left behind is because we're trying to leave too bad we can't show the tree what a great lesson it would be to be able to show how so basically roots girdled on one side made one side of the tree be starting to die out and and so it was like half alive and so you got to take this big shark bite out of that side in order to get down into some good stuff which makes the other side look whack but if you can't explain why what when who then they're just gonna be like they're gonna be right now a mean Yelp yeah. mm -hmm. but right now she's pretty stoked she's I'm gonna go happy. buy a Red Bull August is going from the store with his hard hat. <laughs> Alright, I'd say today was a pretty good learning lesson. Have any of you other tree guys ever had a situation where you send two guys to the job, they call you, and need a little backup? Anyways, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bogate! <laughs> Zoo. That's for my little guy, Joey. He's learning to read. He'll like that sign. Monkey, be